A language instructor was explaining to her class that in Spanish, nouns, unlike their English counterparts, are grammatically designated as masculine or feminine. For instance, house in Spanish is feminine, la casa. Pencil in Spanish is masculine, el lapis. One puzzled student asked, what gender is computer? The teacher didn't know, and the word wasn't in her Spanish dictionary. So for fun, she split the class into two groups, appropriately enough by gender, and asked them to decide whether computer should be a masculine or a feminine noun. Both groups were required to give four reasons for their recommendation. The men's group decided that computers should definitely be the feminine gender, la computer, because number one, no one but their creator understands their internal logic. (laughs) Number two, the native language they use to communicate with other computers is incomprehensible to everyone else. Number three, even the smallest mistakes are stored in long-term memory for possible later (laughs) retrieval. (laughs) Number four, as soon as you make a commitment to one, you find yourself spending half your paycheck on accessories for it. (laughs) The women's group, however, concluded that computers should be masculine, El Computer, because, number one, in order to get their attention, you have to turn them on. (laughs) Number two, two, they have a lot of data, but they're still clueless. (laughs) Number three, They're supposed to help you solve problems, but half the time they are the problem. (laughs) Number four, as soon as you make a commitment to one, you realize that if you'd waited a little longer, you could have gotten a better model. (laughs) The women won. (laughs) Okay. Okay. 